All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, uh, who rule well and never left the flock behind. Salutations to the Akim. So, like, who go out and uh, push this truth, uh, you know, with all mind, body, and spirit for the Most High, uh, to hopefully wake up the elect of Israel. Uh, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, so-called Native Americans, Seminole Indians, you know, so-called Haitians, West Indians, right? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. You are uh, the, the chosen people that the Bible speaks of, you know, and 12,000 out of each of our tribes will be uh, delivered, you know, and Lord willing, you know, I'm a part of that number, you know, me and the brothers pray daily to be a part of that number, man, because it's not, it's not a shoe-in and it's not an easy task. The scriptures say, uh, through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of heaven. All right, so that means that it ain't going to be no easy uh, pull up on them and, and, and get on in. Man, it's going to be uh, through, through your faith and your works, you know, as uh, Paul talked about. Is it faith or is it works, man? It's both. I'll show you my faith by my works, man. There's so many scriptures that go along with, with faith, man. I don't see how these cats miss it and have the nerve to call us faith-based Israelites like it's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're faithful, baby. To the best of our ability, pushing this truth. All right? That shows our faith. It shows our faith. It shows our fear. It shows our respect. Uh, for the most high. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, and he that endureth unto the end, right? The end, the same shall be, the same shall be saved, right? Because there's some coming things, you know, that are prophesied about in the Bible that are going to make life very difficult for people. You know, once they implement this RFID mark, microchip, and uh, you know, start pushing it heavy, make it mandatory. You know, you're gonna see a lot of things change. You're gonna see uh, domestic, uh, domestic, um, so like it was the word I'm looking for. Man, domestic concentration camps. Like you seen during the time uh, of the war, during the time of the war with the Japanese. They rounded up Japanese in America and uh, threw them in concentration camps. That's crazy. Um, so, you know, you got to mentally prepare yourself for these things to come. You know, yes, the Most High said he will feed his elect and everybody else will be hungry. You know, he said he will give them drink and, and everybody else shall thirst. Right? So want that hedge of protection around you and the only way to do that is by being um, being obedient and being elected you know for many are called to do this work but few were chosen by the most high and elected you know under salvation and that's what we that's what we search for and hope for and work for salvation or you know death unto righteousness Dying as a, as a man of the Lord, with all faith, confidence that Yahweh Hashem is, is 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 going to uh, receive you. There's only two ways out of here: righteousness, you know, dying unto righteousness, you know, or making it to salvation. That's the only that's the only choice, you know, we have as Israelites. Most High is sending his son Yahweh Shai back. He calls him the destroyer. So if he's the destroyer, you see what he did in uh, Egypt to them Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, you want no parts of that, man. And if you can't see that, you have no spiritual spirituality. You have no faith that he exists. You know, a lot of people don't use the name Yahweh. 
which means he exists because they don't believe he really exists. You know, they still have questions. Now you're gonna have doubt sometimes, but that's that's Satan, man, messing with you. You know, be confident, be uh, firm. Testicular fortitude, meaning you believe this thing and you're testifying about it. You know, grab your nuts, gird up your loins, and, and speak the truth, man. Now, I'm not saying literally. Go out there looking like a nigga, grabbing all on your junk. But I'm saying, man, spiritually, grab your nuts, man. Make sure, make sure they're still attached and in your scrotum and then do what you've been called to do as a man which is which is to hit the highways and the hedges to be in the marketplace right and to uh, lift up thy voice like as a trumpet and show your people their transgressions so show the most high's people their transgressions right the most high has given us the spiritual eye to see you know we can't take that for granted I take that for granted, man. This is this is a beautiful truth we've been given. And to even be able to maneuver in this shitty-ass world, this matrix that Esau, Edom, uh, the Khazarian Empire, the Bulgars, the Romans, the Greeks, the so-called Caucasian, as he calls himself from the so-called, you know, from the Caucasus Mountains, where he's actually from, from Mount Seir, uh, Petra, uh, you know, that's his original land, but you know what, this, 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 uh, devil, right, I'm like, man, I, I lost my train of thought, not lost my train of thought, but man, something popped up in my head, I was watching this video, um, on Venezuela, and it's crazy, man, this, this, this damn bully who covets fields and taketh them by force, oppresses a man and, and his heritage, you know, roughly paraphrasing multiple scriptures in one, he's down there in Venezuela, setting up his own president, one that'll do his bidding, right, setting them up, and then he's punking the actual country, the actual president. He has seized all of their assets. So their main asset is an oil company that's here in America. Right, you can watch this video on uh, RT. Um, it just came out uh, yesterday. But their major oil company that they have here in the United States, that is their major, that's their main source of income. Okay, the white man... Esau, Edom, America, the elites, whoever you want to call it, has seized their assets and won't recognize them as the uh, the rightful uh, leaders of that country, right? When he was elected by the people to be the president. Now, I'm not saying he's a good person or, you know, Jake's awake or nothing like that. I'm just saying, man, this, that's who the country chose. But you want to get in there because... Uh, he's not dealing with you the way you want him to deal with you right so you take all these assets and now you give it to this fucking faggot Juan Guaido this fucking pussy ass sellout he's probably a fucking Edomite too excuse my language right so they ain't interested in helping that country you see what kind of aid America gives some bullshit man they go in they rape the women they steal the assets and then they fucking pull an Alexander and dig into your heritage, man. And that is his uh, DNA genetic makeup. That's how he was made to be. Fucking devil. You know, out here causing havoc on the whole world. But, you know, hey, with that, man, I just, I was watching that video on RT and it pissed me off. So, you know, I just wanted to do a quick video and uh, remind, remind brothers, not, you know, maybe not uh, brothers older than me, but young brothers coming into this thing, man. Prepare your minds, man, and prepare your, yourself for what's to come. Um, you know, because what is to come is it's, uh, it's not like, man, the day of the Lord. Day of the Lord is a day of gloominess, and 
darkness and not light. So remember that. Stay focused. Keep pushing this truth. Uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.